You know, mealworms can kind of bite. I had, oh, no. I had them give me a little nip, and I'm a big person with thick yeah. skin. I feel like that mealworm might have just bitten Bob's oh, my gosh. finger. Oh my gosh. Poor guy. You gotta eat them. He kind of yucks them. He must generally eat them. Yeah. Oh yeah, he, he loves them. But he can't eat more than two at a time, two in a day, because they're still a little bit alive in his tummy, so... They could so try, and, they could try and sneak out. He always says, but then they get dead when they get eaten. No, Not no always. teeth on Bob. That's creepy. It's mm -hmm. oh, really creepy. Yeah, so they say if you have a lizard or a snake or a frog, you shouldn't feed them something bigger yeah. than they can handle because then it might not be dead yeah. and you could crawl out of them. Sweetest day. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, so just, just, just a work, but it takes a while for them to actually kill. Always have good vegetables. Mm -hmm. They're basically acid, right? It's like he's got like, mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. It is for people, oh, but oh, he tried. I'm not sure about with frogs. Did he get bigger? Did he get bigger? Oops. Let's try again. It's like he's got binocular, um, like nose. Like different, each nostril is moving independently of the other one. Yeah. Hey, Bob. Maybe he's upset that it bit him. He doesn't want to have anything to do with it. Just finish it off and eat it, Bob. <laughs> Nothing to do with that mealworm. <laughs> Maybe give him a different one that won't bite him.